Sometimes online can be brutal. In other times, it can be so misleading. Brad group ya kuna kora gona risk factor ya milimweli okeke ya. Brad group ya kuna kora gona the opportunity ginya mawera ini. Brad group o was made for work. If you have problems like bloating, gastritis, H. pylori and those. Terahertz frequency breaks the molecular chain of H2O making it soft and easier to swallow. Let's go through some of the most ridiculous videos I came across. Repeat after me. Shaken baby syndrome. Google that and get to see some of the information. You can get more details there. But in a nutshell, that baby, the neck muscles or even other muscles are not yet well developed. Even some of the bones are not yet fully fused. Meaning that absorbing some of the shocks that comes from rapid movements is an issue. Now, let's go to the head. The brains are still developing. The spinal cord is still the same. Let's go to the brains. You see, when you shake the baby vigorously or suddenly, or maybe you drop the baby, the brains can rock back and forth inside the skull. Guess what will happen? One, you can get hemorrhage or brain damage, which can be manifested by several things. One, yeah, hemorrhage, which will just create pressure in the head and all that can lead to death. Also, at the back of the eyes, then the retina, the reddening you find that there is blood back there but then let's go to repercussions one can be intellectual issues you find that that person is taking really long before they actually grasp something that's so so simple to get intellectual issues there can be issues with the motion coordination you find that when they're walking there is an issue they take really long before they are able to coordinate the muscles inside the body because you tampered with the central nervous system other things can be visual problems because remember also the brains control the sight next time when you see someone who is doing that just educate them and uh, prevent them and if you are the mother of that baby you it's actually sad, or even the father, or if whoever is around there, and whoever is doing that, maybe intellectually there is an issue. I'm not sure about this place, but uh, I have not confirmed, but I had it somewhere in Congo. Still the same, shaken baby syndrome is still developing. The prince is still very young. And when you look at some of them, quite shaken, meaning that uh, you can easily introduce trauma into this baby. And mind you, they're still young, immune system is still primitive, still developing, uh, gauging or even looking at uh, the age of the kids. It's not the same thing when it comes to the adults because you have a well-set immune system which is already well developed, but that baby might not have that. And we're exposing them to so many things in addition to creating mental health issues when uh, they're still young. You find that even when they become old, old adults, they still carry some of the trauma that they sustained when they were still young just because of such. Blood group ya kuna kora gona risk factor ya milimweli okeke ya. Blood group ya kuna kora gona the opportunity ginya mawera ini. Tadu uje kana nero wa igwati adware aige mako wana the na wa psychology kana the na wa meshiri ya. Adware aige mako o igwa ga modoshi unu mugi munu noni remu niare kagia. Adoshi aige high chances mako wana ya a blood group a b. Bugewewe na the na ka modo ge na the na. Kwa kora ga modoshi unera hata ageka are do the na waku oso uveke. Na modoshi tete ni wika ikalito wega. Asha ona kali ona madi na maake adoshi the very gent no makuhe kedo wio the ona no akuhe kera tu todo ya kune gita ru kwali gani ona kena na maguru brad group is called sisi gana sigo si inya inya kwe brad group a b na b brad group a b brad group a b a na o na b o 
This is quite misleading. One thing I want you to know is uh, there is no connection between the habits that you can actually acquire by investing in them. There's no connection between them and your blood group. Like for example, being generous has nothing to do with uh, your blood group. I actually had another pastor who was claiming that uh, most of those who are blood group oh, they are these, we have AB who are died, don't know the hard working. I'll get a clip and then try to see if I can stitch it here. They are too few at blood group AB. They are only five five percent in the world. Blood group A. They are only nine percent. They are the best people. They have a good head and a good heart. It is the blood of the levites. Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. This because I'm an employee. When you are doing interviews, you must you must incorporate this knowledge. Like for us, anybody who is blood group A and A B, those are the cashiers. They will never steal you all the days. Whether they are born, like, they are conscious is so alert. They can't. Like you give a owner B. So never think he's weak. Oh, sure. Every time when you have blood group A and AB, once a tantrum to your wife, they just switch off and they're just there helpless. They don't know how to confront. They, our dream could be going to beat us, our mama. Very few, I don't know, absolutely almost zero, you will hear blood group A and AB, they have killed their partner. It's not possible. But O and B, you want to run the only thing I want you to know for now about blood group is there's no connection between it and the habits that you can acquire. Being a thief, it's you and your habits and not your blood group. Being a hard worker doesn't even have any iota of blood group influence in it. Now, there is one thing I would want you to know. When it comes to donation, you donate blood according to this chart here. And also, when you are resource negative and you are a lady, you need to know uh, when you conceive from a man, are they resource positive or negative? So that when you're giving birth, you're given an injection that will protect you and future pregnancies. We've had this conversation so many times. You can scroll back, you'll find so many videos about that. So yeah. That's the only thing I want you to know for now. Another thing I'm going to listen, just give me some few minutes. Let me give you another one. Blood group O was made for work. They are supposed to do work. No, any human being with hands and they have muscles are meant to work. Not necessarily true, but it depends with the type of work you're talking about here. Yeah. Being hardworking, uh, meant to be in villages, meant for work, doubters, witchcraft believers, has nothing to do with the blood group. And it's actually quite sad for your age to be misleading people with a very inaccurate information. The same, same person. When you Just look at blood group O, it has about three genotypes, but generalized blood group O, they have very strong immune system against infections and so on and so on. But again, no. There's no connection. But their major problem are the non-communicable diseases. Non-communicable diseases. Actually, they are major victims of sinuses and asthma, major victims of allergy. First of all, blood group has a very strong immune system. Yes. Okay? That's why most of the diseases that disturb them no. are what you call autoimmune dis or disorders. Autoimmune disorder is not having a strong immune system. That's a disorder. It's a defect when it comes to your immune system. And when you have that, you have a weaker immune system. It doesn't mean that you have a strong immune system. For example, if your blood group is eating wrong foods, okay, he's going to be having allergies. Allergies are that of having a strong immune system. No. Having an allergy is when your immune system mistakes something which is harmless or normal for a pathogen. That's having a weak immune system. Having a strong immune system is when that immune system can go to tell that this is something normal. This is just fabric. This is just cut hair, which I'm not supposed to react to. There's no connection between those or anything he says about blood group, apart from the fact that uh, resource positive uh, blood donation. Yeah.
majority of people have a blood group O, and people have been asking me to talk more about this blood group, okay? There are certain advantages that you need to understand that people with blood group O have. The first one is that they are easily liked by many... No. Okay, now, okay, let's just, for a moment, let's just have a, a conversation. Just look at your politicians. They have different, almost similar characteristics when they come to stealing public funds, lying to people, doing all manners of things. Now, you want to tell me that if you go and take their blood and then you test their blood groups, they're going to have one blood group. That's what you want to tell us. They have a good character and... They I'm particularly taking offense in him because he's wearing a lab coat and also a stethoscope. This is trying to command an audience, trying to tell you that he's a medic, but even if... You, I don't care whether you're a medic or not, but that information is quite misleading and very wrong coming from someone who is um, posing as a medic. If this is how you treat your patients, I worry for them. Kindly don't fall for blood groups and the habits and all those things that they usually use. At the end of the day, they want to sell you something. This is Oxitab, a product of Price International, and it's an um, oxygen supplement. What is happening is oxygenation process. And we Why would you oxygenate water? You know, the leading cause of problems today is low oxygen levels, hypoxia <laughs> okay. and headaches. So what we have done... Headaches can be caused by so many things, like uh, you might be having low glucose level in the blood, you might be having a low blood pressure, you might be having high blood pressure, you might be having a lot of sugar in the system, you might be having low HB, you might have exposed yourself to a lot of noise, you might be... So many reasons can give you headaches and nowhere close to oxygenating water, whatever that is. One shot gives us three minutes and that is to say uh, we are having hydration water, so if you have it, if we do two shots, which is six minutes, that will give us medicinal water. And uh, what is that? If you have problems like uh, uh, bloating, uh, gastritis, uh, H. pylori and those... You have those because you have underlying issues when you have H. pylori. It means that you are susceptible to that. H. pylori in most people, you're going to find in almost everyone in the population most people have h pylori but it's not an issue but we have few people who usually get an infection from this it's a normal flora i'll call it that but it's not completely a normal flora because it causes diseases in other people now we have people who are prone to getting that infection and we don't actually know yet why some people will get infection and they're going to get ulcers others we don't know gastritis Several other causes. You can, might be having, for example, you've been misusing NSAIDs. They can irritate your gut. And including uh, anything like asthma. <laughs> now we're jumping from a uh, pyroli all the way to asthma, which is totally unrelated. That one you can do two shots. But when we do three shots, which is nine minutes, now that is medical grade water. Grade. Medical grade water. water. Wow. This is for those people who have uh, growths and... Uh, you know, those uh, viruses that are... Define growth and connected to this water you're talking about here. Growths can be like, for example, you have fibroids. It can be you have a tumor. A tumor can be cancerous or non-cancerous. Whatever is causing that has nothing to do with not taking your water here. Tumors are caused by so many things. We don't even know some of the causes of cancer. We have factors that can contribute to getting cancers in tumors. But you don't know what usually cause cancer. So there's no, you can just claim that uh, taking this water will heal or even prevent anyone from getting cancer. This is just pure water. Anyway. You know, those uh, viruses that are quite serious. Do you know what a virus is? We have, yes, serious viruses. We have Ebola. It's one of them. We have hepatitis. We have HIV. There are so many viruses, but there is nothing this water can do. Viruses, unless one, you have drugs, and most of them don't have cures. Most of them are just self-limiting. You just sit down, the immune system does the magic, or the virus just gets tired of you, and it so happens to just disappear on itself. There is nothing you can do to a virus when it comes to water. There is nothing you can put in that water unless you put drugs inside that water that can do anything to a virus or even a bacteria. And the oxygen levels getting into the cells, they... The oxygen levels getting to the cells is influenced not by water. 
it's influenced by your HB. And by now you understand that HB is part of the red blood cell. So you take care of your blood, the red blood cells, so you are sorted. If not, that's when you start having issues with the, the circulation of oxygen in the body. Nothing to do with water currently. Now, they might want to twist this and talk about the liquid part of the blood, but that's not responsible for carrying oxygen. It's only the HB which has a high affinity to oxygen and also carbon dioxide, and that's what usually uh, leads to accidents of air in the body, not the water. Cells will start to detox by themselves. So, Oxidant has come to save the world? No, it's just here to milk money. <laughs> and you know that. And they usually take a particular offense when something which is very inaccurate is being peddled as a device that can help people cure diseases. And for me to give you a glimpse, just imagine of the Amazon. Think of the anaconda. How does it grow that big? It's because of the oxygen. Even Not because of the oxygen. It grows that big because of its genetical makeup. Look at an elephant. Yeah, it's not in the Amazon. It's somewhere in Savannah. Just go to Savo, go to Masai Mara. Just, you're going to find a very huge elephant which can just push down a tree. Just go to, let's say, Lake Naivasha. You're going to find that we have hippos. This is so huge. Do you want to tell me that uh, they usually, and that water is actually not clean. Now, do you want to tell us those hippos usually go to Amazon and then at night comes back so that uh, they are always in Naivasha and uh, that's the reason they've grown that huge. And the apes in the Amazon. They grow so big, and that is also what happens in the Himalayas. Himalayas, apes, Amazon, growing big. Now you want to tell us that, just give me a minute, smallest mammal. Let's go to images. Now you want to tell us that this mammal that we have here, it's small because it doesn't live in the Amazon. For you to be able to live longer, you need the oxytab, the oxygen supplement. Thank you. You don't need that. What you need, clean water and also good food, balanced diet. You have that, you have shelter, you live long. Using the Edera Care device to charge water. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is interesting actually from the same company from the previous video. So just listen. Make sure to use glass container. Do not use plastic or metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Terahertz frequency breaks the molecular chain of eight of H to O Sorry. Terahertz frequency breaks the molecular chain of H to O, making it soft and easier to swallow. Imagine that. Soft and easier to swallow. Water. H to O. Breaking the chain. <laughs> now, first of all, I think it would be fair if we just go to the website and I'll just highlight several things here. Yeah? This is one of their websites that I came across. If you go down all the way up to the bottom here, let's start with the business aspect. They have a warranty notice. All Prive International devices come with a one year warranty. Please note that uh, before you purchase your chosen device, Prive International does not refund for products purchased. So please ensure that you are certain you would like to purchase before proceeding. If your device is faulty or defective, Prive International will replace your device within one year warranty period. Okay. I hope you're done with that. Now let's go to the disclaimer. The Itera Care device is certified household electrical equipment. It has been certified as safe to use. It emits no harmful radiation. It, is, it has labels allowing for its distribution internationally. I don't have an issue with that. Now this is the interesting part. The Itera Care blower is not a piece of medical equipment and the manufacturer provides no medical advice. Users understand that the device is not intended to be used as a medical device or for diagnostic purposes on which reliance should be placed. It is not intended to be relied upon in lieu of medical treatment or advice by a trained medical care practitioner. Users understand that they use the Terra Care Blower at their own risk. Let's just go to the other website. Private International. Let's go to, yeah, I, I believe this is the uh, website. We're going to look for the disclaimer.
and uh, for this one you can just pause and read and uh, actually they are very very direct they're, it's actually i like this one because what they're saying is do not claim they could cure any disease or illness or cancer diabetes or stroke members shall be responsible for their statements you can actually just go to the website and uh, you just read for yourself now do we have restrictions when it comes to the use of this now let's go to this one fda advisory this i believe was in um uh, where is this this is in philippines if you look at the attachment here uh let me just download and just open and uh, there is a there is a disclaimer that they are giving out here and you can pause again you can pause and read breaks the molecular chain of h2o making it soft and easier to swallow It also makes it easier for water to be absorbed in the body. <laughs> Sounds like Nico is a selling point. It increases alertness levels and fuels the brain. What this is water. Water does not fuel the brains. It maintains it. So you'll have to have fuel in the brains. I don't know where the fuel comes from. Not the water. What is just a medium. It strengthens the immune system and removes toxins in the body. Really now? <laughs> Charged water improves complexion and skin radiance. Now, this is the same water which is doing all miracles in the body from uh, your kidneys. That is detoxification, removing the toxins, all the way to hydrating you, fueling your brains, and now going to your skin and making it do. Okay, this nonsense. It neutralizes free radicals and increases cellular oxygenation. Now, this is the kind of information I usually feel sad for those who actually have no medical background or they don't even the basic biology because they're going to fall for such. And especially you have something like arthritis, which is some of the things they usually take advantage of. And uh, mostly they target that because, you know, and in our homes, in the villages, we have our grandmothers, we have our mothers that might not have this information and they end up falling for this all the time we have supplements that are actually peddled and are sold out there in the villages where they don't have information i wish they can be able to understand i wish my videos can be able to get to them so that they don't get to be conned because this is just that i don't have an issue with the blowers and whatever devices that you're using but when you start mentioning medical conditions that you can fix with a blower that's where I come in and that's when I don't feel happy about them and that's why I make such videos so that we get to understand some of the myths or some of the things that are misleading online and this is one of such. You take a device and you start claiming things that are not even true. 